Hello Vikings. Welcome back guys. We are in Minecraft again. Oh, and I've got a little reveal to do. So, so far I'm liking these shader packs. I am liking the layout of this house. The stairwell needs to be cleaned up and the entranceway uh, make it a little bit more homely and presentable. Um, standing on the table. Um, yeah, so what we're basically going to be doing is revealing what's down there. So we're going to take a walk around and enjoy the view. I've got an idea of how I want to clean up the stairwell and make it look a little bit prettier. So working out the details on that. And I've got a pile of dirt because I've just been clearing up. As you can see, it's still growing back in. Clearing up uh, outside here. I had a couple of creepers try and take me out. I want to in future episodes coming up, uh, we're going to clear up this farm, maybe reposition it. Um, the tree farm has been moved over there, so I might look at re-overhauling this whole outside area. So what we might do is move the farm, clear up the mine shaft entrance, and then build a bridge across here, and then maybe have some things going on over here. However, the farm, very well, might end up on the inside. So because I'm ready to reveal, guys, to you, the base. The base that has been working on so far. The reason why this mansion is here. I mean, this is my home, and I'm gonna make my home look as good as possible. However, down here, you've already seen the portal. There is the portal. Um, again, you're gonna probably realize that this room needs to be repurposed into something else. Because we are going to go in here, guys. Are you ready? Are you excited for it? Um, it's taken a long time to build. And before we get down there, I'm going to be quiet on the walk down. Because I'm going to do a little bit of flashback. You're going to see how this has been built over time. Um, just basically to prove that, yeah, it was. this is all done in survival. Uh, it's been a big project. It's not entirely complete. But it's complete enough for me to show it to you guys. So enjoy the walk down. Okay guys, as you can see, this is a pretty big base. It's a bunker with a nice lava pit at the bottom. Um, yeah, tunneling down. Ah, oh, creepers follow me down. I'll speak in a sec, one sec. Let's just get rid of this creeper and try not to blow this base up, shall we? What are you doing down here? What are you doing down here? Come here, creeper. Not ruining this video. Come in, come in, go on, one more hit. Ooh, and you did. Ooh, so we'll start here actually, because you would have seen this on a walkthrough. This is basically just a um, little maintenance hatch, so I can go down and there's a cave system down here that I'm yet to explore. So I wanted a way of still being able to get to that. So that is that. Keeps the baddies out, apparently, but I'm still getting problems with mobs spawning in here, so maybe it needs a little bit more light. A little bit more light in here, maybe. So. Yeah, this is 
the secret base um it needs to be made a lot more pretty uh jazz it up with a bit more detailing the underfloors of all the floor levels need to go in um the reason why they're not in at the moment is because i need to create spotlights out of glowstone because i don't want torches everywhere so we're going to make glowstone spotlights that are going to point down so light every floor up um you'll see as i go down one layer in a sec um these boxes are just full of cobblestone um where basically i've just been digging this whole area out a lot of it's gone into replacing the stone so these furnaces have been smelting stone for me which is making me the stone bricks which i have replaced everything with um, if you're interested in dimensions, I think it's 32 across at the furthest points. So, yeah, it took a while to dig out and it has been challenging. Almost lost the plot. Um, yeah, so I wanted just a single staircase to go down. And the idea is, well, there's the entrance, but each one of these walls, apart from where the stairwell is, um, there's going to be rooms off. So this is where all my farms are going to be, for instance, of uh, basically where I can get supplies from, really. And all different in interesting rooms, like I'm going to put an alchemy lab in here. But if there's anything that you want to see built in here, um, leave it in the comments, guys. Um, let me know, and I'll try and get around to building it. I mean, this is an underground secret base, so we can have missile silo off to the side, anything, really. So I'll show you what I've got so far. We've only got real two features so far. So, like I said, the underground, the underfloor level is going to go on here where this stone is still sticking out. So it will go out and then it will just allow you to put cobblestone lighting in without shining through upstairs as well. So two layers, which prevents it going up, but it will shine down. It will make sense once I start putting it in. So obviously I've got an area for a room over there, a room over there. And then these rooms can wrap around, of course. Um, so in here is obviously the cobblestone generator that you've seen me make. This is where it was made, guys. I told you it was made in the secret base, and this is where it is. I'm really liking the glass on the on this texture pack because it's great. It breaks it up, so you can't see each individual block. It makes the water look really nice and the lava. So that is where the cobblestone generator is. And she did I, oh, I haven't got any stone. I need to put some stone in there. And of course, it makes it look like that's see-through. You can just about see the wood outline. It makes it look like I haven't put anything there, but I have. So the next room is on the very ground floor at the moment. So I think it may be on this floor, I might put a lot of glass in and have it as labs, labs that you can see off to the side. Um, that's an idea that I'm thinking about. Again, every floor so far has got to have the light input in so I can get rid of these torches. So as we come down, and you have to walk around here because it just makes this look nicer. These torches could probably go in a minute, actually. So, yeah, nice little bit of lava there. And then you come down. And then you got this room. Before we go into this room, before I show you what's in there, the idea is this is all glassed off. So it's pretty cool. And then there's going to be an entrance way here. So it's quite hard to see with this glass in system, but that's why I like it because you can... It just allows you to look through without actually seeing that there's blocks there so and then there might be a stairwell going down here i haven't decided what i want down there yet um but if i need to build another layer that's how we're going to get down to another layer uh so far obviously five layers don't ask me to calculate maybe someone could calculate the box uh i mean these are it's six per layer like i said it's 32 by 32 at the furthest points if someone can do the maths on that well good luck to you so as you come in this room we got a little bit of a hint of what could possibly be in this room. And yeah, this is the new Never Portal room, guys, which is why I said that it's probably going to have to locate and repurpose the other room. So if we hitch this button here, hit this button, hitch, and we have a Never Portal fully working. It takes us through to where the other portal is. I'm not going to use it right now because when I just tested it, it did, when I came back, it chucked me up at the Never Portal, other Never Portal which I've got to dismantle. So I was hoping I was going to get two nether portals, but as I've got just the one, um, it chucks me out of either one. Um, for this purpose of this, I'm not going to risk it. And we click that and it hides it. So I want to make this room look slightly better. Maybe do something funky with this wall so you can sort of see it's there, but it'll not be there. Um, we'll see. And then off one of these walls, maybe both, um, I'm going to have armories basically. So you can come down here, you can 
go into the armory you can get your arm all your armor on you can get your supplies food weapons and head in so that's going to be happening and i think in the next episode we're going to go on a stronghold hunt um in the never so we can get some blaze rods because i want to set up an alchemy so part of the lab system is going to be an alchemy station so i can start brewing some potions so i can mine quicker and stuff like that so that is yeah that is a general idea guys so let me know what you think it's taken a lot of work there's a lot more work to still go into it but this is going to be the start of it it's quite far underground and I'm not quite sure on what layer I am on the smallest point, but maybe I'll find out and leave a, a link in the description or let you know in a future video. Just hit me in the comments if you want to know where it is. Um, if you want to know how I built the Never Portal, um, it's easy enough to find online if you just search for it. But if you want to know how I built it, um, then hit me up in the comments and I'll leave a link in the description or reply to your comment and let you know where it is. So hopefully you enjoyed um, not a long episode, but it just gives you a show of what's going to be coming, of what's done so far. Um, like I said, there'll be a brief flashback at the start of this to show overall construction. No real footage, but just show the, the different varying stages of me putting it together, of what footage I remembered to capture. Because I didn't film the whole lot, that would have been just way too big to do. And yeah, there's plenty more to do. Like I said, maybe that floor there is going to be labs. So we can think of doing something exciting with that. Uh, moved the nerve portal down to there. I'm thinking on this level, or this level, we'll have a mass storage system set up. Um, so all of this will get moved. The furnaces are going to get moved anyway to closer to that. Because obviously as I burn off the co mine the cobblestone, I'm going to want to turn it into stone. So I can continue building products like this. And now I've got this set up, we're going to do a bit more in here and then we're going to start moving to creating some more stuff outside. So let me know what you want to see, what you want to see put into this bunker and I'll be sure to get around to it. So coming up, like I said, uh, more bunker stuff, uh, venture into the nether pool and we're going to be, I've got a little surprise what I'm going to build up top, but again, that will be revealed at some point in the future. I'll just let you know that that is going to be happening, another little secret build. And yeah, I'm going to clean up the farming area and mining system up top. So yeah, I'm saying so a lot. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe I'm nervous about you guys liking this. But let me know if you want to see any other features here. I'm thinking about adding underneath here actually. Just sprung to my mind here. I'm going to, I'm going to say it so it's on record and then I'll, I'll remember to put it in. Maybe a ring of water going around here again under glass but a circular water pattern going around it's going to require to me to bring a lot of water no maybe i can build an infinite water pool over there and then build it that's an idea guys let me know what you think of that um i think i'll go put it in and then just see what it looks like so yeah hopefully give this video a share let other minecraft there is know what, what i've done here um maybe uh, similar things have been built but i don't know if it's been built in survival and Hit me up in the comments, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.